So now we're ready for the definition of a derivative of a function in some point. Yeah, so the derivative of the function which depends on x, yeah, y equals fx, in x equals a, and a should be in the domain of the function. Well, the derivative is given by the following limit, the limit the limit from x to a yeah in the former example we saw we had a property that a equals 1 so here we look at fx minus fa divided by x minus a and by choosing x equals a plus h we can reformulate this limit as the limit for h goes to 0 for fa plus h minus fa divided by h. Yeah, so this will be the derivative of the function fx in x equals a, provided that this limit exists. And if it exists, we usually denote it as follows. So we use the following notation, f prime of a. This is the derivative of a function in the value x equals a. Well, let's look at an example. fx equals the square root of x plus 4. And we're going to look at the value a equals 0. So we try to find the derivative of a function in 0. Well, by definition, we know that this is equal to the limit of h to 0 of the square root of 4 plus h minus 2, which is the f in 0, and divided by h, yeah, the step size. Now we use the root trick. We see that this limit equals the limit for h to 0 of the square root of 4 plus h minus 2. Um, now we multiply it by the square root of 4 plus h plus 2. Uh, we may do this if we correct for the same factor in the numerator. So we get h times the square root of 4 plus h plus 2. Why are we doing this? Well, now the numerator becomes pretty easy and elegant. So we get 4 plus h square root squared minus 2 squared. So this equals 4 plus h minus 4. And we divide it by h times the square root of 4 plus h plus 2. Now see that four, the 4s in the numerator cancel. And we're left with h, but the h is also cancelled against the h in the no, uh, denominator. So we get the limit of h to 0 of 1 over the square root 4 plus h plus 2. And if we would substitute the value h equals 0, so we use a direct... So here's the picture corresponding to this example. So in yellow we see the graph of the function f and we see the tangent line in zero which is the linear function which has the same slope, limiting slope that we calculated, so f prime zero, so the derivative of f in zero. So with f prime 0, the derivative being equal to 1 over 4, and we may uh, put up an equation for the line L. Well, uh, an equation is as follows. y minus f0 equals the slope times x minus 0, so which gives us the tangent line, a description of the tangent line, an equation of the tangent line, y equals 1 over 4x plus 2. 